Hello all. Hello all. I'll try again. Hello all. Hello. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Um, this evening I shall, I shall be your director. Um, try to provide some sort of intellectual context for this theatrical frivolity. This uh, celebration of the midsummer season and the works of the great William Shakespeare. It is in this, my friends, I'm afraid I shall fail you terribly. I, it, this would best be served as a deathbed confession for a man of the theatre, but the reality is I think Jonathan has beaten a dead thing to death. So I shall simply put it to you. I despise William Shakespeare. Oh, oh, oh. Not, not the man, not the man. Oh, Will, I'm sure, is a fine chap. But I mean the great bard. I mean William Shakespeare is the bar under which we must all toil now in theater. It's, it's become this thing, this impossibly reachable thing, way up there. And we're required to reach it. It's become so embedded in all of our consciousness you don't even realize it. Is a thought for you? It's in the lexicon. It's become a part of the words and the language. We say, oh, see, so lovely play, but it's no Shakespeare. Doubly depressing when you're directing Shakespeare. <laughs> but the reality is this. We're stuck with it. That's really more of a, a professional observation. My real complaint, my grievance, if you will, runs far deeper. It runs to a place of anger. It runs to a place of rage that is simply this. He's used up all the words. Everything, every thought I might have is done. He said it. He's written about it. It doesn't matter what we have to say. If I've got a fire in my heart, he's written a sonnet about it. If I've got metal in my belly, he's banged on about it in a play. On good heavens, if I should have a clear vision of where I wish to take my life, it's probably in a folio somewhere gathering dust. All the words has been said. And so it's an insult to you, my fine new friends. It's an insult to you for me to suggest that I'm to tell you these words you already know are going to be a thing I'm going to tell you about. It's ruthless to stand here before you and try to provide some sense of it all. I wish I could, but I can't. So I dig deep. I go to the text. The text is sacred, they say. The text is sacred. Or should stand out here, do what comes naturally, they said, Cecil. All the world's a stage. It's rubbish, really. If you look, we, 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 you were in the round. And uh, in a quarter of this place is behind that curtain. And, and, and you lot aren't even on stage. It's all been done. It's all, it's all used up. It's something different. So I can't use that. Well, I could, I could just admit that, like, like him, I'm a man. I'm a man, so... Um, I could say to be, and you'd know where I was going to go, even if I was to say I was to be, or not to, you beat me to it. <laughs> His name's not even, it's Cabernet. <laughs> it's Jonathan, really. <laughs> but the truth of it is, we know it even if we don't say it. Or could just simply stand there like this. <laughs> and you know where I would go. It's all been done. But I have to provide some context for our evening. I have to provide some way to make you understand. All right. That's because I'm the director. It's my job. So on a, on a good day, that means I'm like a shaman. I could reach over to this actor here, reach in, pull out his still beating heart. Please don't scream. <laughs> Fillet it open and present it with the sacred text. I make you understand. The truth is, my friends, same as you, on most days I'm a slovenly drunk. But there are all these days, like tonight, when the lights do shine down upon me and the voices are perfect, where I become a slovenly, drunken shaman, capable of reaching into the heavens and pulling down but one piece of advice for my players. And it is simply this. Let not the words of a man 500 years dead quiet the fires of your heart. 
Let it not soften the metal in your belly. And never let any man's words create a wavering in a true intention. What I'm trying to say is quite simple. All of us are the bards of our own great place. Well, well, they're the directors, thankfully putting me out of work. And if you should choose to step here, you shall be its actor and live it out. It's simply put, to thine own self be... Oh, bugger, that's him. <laughs> Why is it that you always have something to say? Your man is just a man, same as you and me. Perhaps it's because he's a man and he's lived it, same as you and me. It's not bad words, but tonight I wish to celebrate something different. I wish to celebrate living by our own words, if we shall. Can we do that? Yeah. And just because you ask so nicely, we'll do a few of yours as well. Fair enough? Right then, allow me, in truest of Shakespearean style, to welcome you, lords and ladies, to the Midsummer Stage. <laughs> <laughs>